Hi, my name is Hayley Harris. I'm the Lived Experience Lead at the Finding North Network. Today I'll be presenting the Speaker Submission Information Session for our upcoming Lived Experience eSymposium Perspectives 2024. During this video, you can expect to hear me talk about the event details. So what is Perspectives 2024? What can you expect? I'll talk about event themes for day one, day two, and the overarching theme. I'll discuss important dates that you need to keep in mind. We'll go through the submission process and we'll discuss what we are looking for. Event details. Perspectives 2024 is a lived experience e-symposium presented by the Finding North Network. Over the 19th and 20th of March 2024, we will bring together lived experience speakers, leaders and advocates from across Australia, some of whom will be sharing their stories for the very first time. Event themes. The overarching theme of the event is amplifying lived experience perspectives for connection, awareness and change. The day one theme specifically focuses on sharing your lived experience story for connection, awareness and change. The day two theme focuses on embracing and focusing your lived expertise for connection, awareness and change. So when people are writing their submissions, it's really important to consider how your submission is going to tie into the overall theme, but also consider which of the two days your submission will tie into. Because the committee members who are assessing your application are going to be keeping that in mind. They're going to be thinking, okay, where does this story, where does this speech tie into our two days? Is it focusing more on an individual story? Or is it looking at their lived expertise and how they've used that in a professional setting, for example? Is it looking at a lived experience program or service that's being offered? So we want you to think about which of the two days your um, speech will fit into and try to communicate that to us and make sure that it's tying back into that overall theme because that's what the committee will really be looking for. Some important dates to consider. Speaker submissions opened on the 23rd of October 2023 and will be closing a month later on the 24th of November 2023. The speaker submissions first open exclusively to the Finding North network and is only advertised within the, within the network. Soon the submissions will be advertised more broadly. However, submissions are exclusive exclusively available to Finding North Network members. So ensure that if you are not yet a Finding North Network member, that you become one so that you can submit. In order to be a Finding North Network member, you have to have your own first-hand lived experience of mental health issues or mental health conditions. And so um, that is because Finding North Network is an exclusive online community for first-hand lived experience. Speaker submissions close 24th of November. On the 8th of December 2023, speakers will be notified. Between December and February 2024, we will publicly begin to announce speakers publicly. We'll advertise it on social media. We'll put it on our website as well. So if you are chosen as a speaker, please make sure that you read all the information and the terms and conditions that sent to you when you are accepted as a speaker and ensure that you don't announce publicly your acceptance until we have gone through those processes and we'll support you and, and make sure you know all of those details. Between December and March 2024, we will be offering speaker support. So that includes tech support. How do we use the Zoom webinar platform? Do you know everything you need to know? Do you know how to set up your lighting, how to set up your microphone? Um, all of those sort of technical supports. We'll also be offering emotional, practical support like that. And hopefully we'll be providing some kind of masterclass and some considerations to think about when you present. So with your submission, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to have your entire speech ready to go because some of that can be worked out later. You just need a sense and a general idea of what people will be walking away with. On the 16th of February, 2024, we hope to announce the final program so that people will know what is happening, which order people are speaking in, what time you'll be expected to speak. And on the 19th and 20th of March, 2024, Perspectives 2024 will run over two half days. 
Speakers will only be expected to speak on one day and will need to set aside one hour on the day of their presentation. Everyone is welcome to attend both days of Perspectives 2024 and it is free to attend. However, um, as long as you have an hour free around your time slot, that will allow um, you to come into the session and prepare beforehand, get a bit of a run through, mentally prepare, make sure everything's good to go. You'll present for between 20 minutes to 35 minutes, including a Q&A, and then you'll have an opportunity to receive some support and debriefing as soon as you finish, but also following the event, there'll be opportunities for support, debriefing, and feedback um, that you can give to the Perspectives team as well to ensure that we've supported you the best we can. So what's the speaker submission process? So we are accepting submissions through Google Forms. You can find the link to that here. Google Forms is an online platform that you'll provide all of your information that is relevant, that includes your name, your pronouns, your date of birth, etc. To make the submission process more accessible, we're accepting written, video and audio uploads for some of our key questions. There will be no preference given to written, video or audio over another format. Each submission will be assessed on its merit by the e-symposium project team and committee. So let me show you what the form looks like. I've pre-populated some of these answers. Once you get to this option, select written video or audio. I've chosen video. Choose the file that you want to upload and ensure that it is less than 10 gigabytes. This is sped up and could take anywhere between five minutes or more, depending on how large your file size is. Upload your second file. And remember, you can choose to just type your answer instead. You can choose video or you can upload an audio. Ensure that the file name has your full name in it so that we can connect the submission to you. You can complete the form. Again, this is sped up. It might take you a little longer. Accept the terms and conditions, submit, and that is your application finished. So what are we looking for when it comes to these submissions? So the first thing that we'll be looking at will be your proposed speech title. The gist is that you'll probably aim for 15 words or less. It should be sharp, to the point, and catchy. Um, that could be changed later on, but your speech title is going to give the committee a sense of what you'll be speaking about and what the audience will be gaining from your talk. Number two, this is the first of the accessible upload options. So you'll either write a written submission or can provide a video or audio submission for this particular question. This question is a short presentation summary. So you'll provide a short presentation summary in written, audio or video format. If you are providing a written submission, it should be 400 words approximately. If you are providing a video or audio submission, you'll be looking at about three minutes and you need to make sure that that video or audio file is not more than 10 gigabytes. If it is more than 10, 10 gigabytes, it won't be able to be uploaded. So try to compress that file if it's too big. We can support you with that at the time. The second question that um, you have the option of audio, video or written is this question, why would you like to speak at Perspectives 2024? Again, either 400 words or three minutes and less than 10 gigabytes for that submission. Your speech must tie into the overall theme of amplifying lived experience perspectives for connection, awareness and change. And your speech must either tie into one of the two day themes, sharing your lived experience story or embracing and focusing your lived expertise. It's really important that when you put in your submission, when you write your submission, when you upload your submission, that you are thinking about what the audience is going to gain from this. You need to assume that the committee doesn't know you, that we are not going to be able to fill in the blanks, 
and that you are able to present your submission in a way that the committee can see will tie into the theme, will tie into the program, and they'll be able to clearly decide which day your presentation would fit into, whether it's sharing your lived experience story or embracing and focusing your lived expertise. When we think about the question, why would you like to speak at Perspectives 2024? What we're not looking for in that answer is something like, I've never spoken before and it would be a really cool opportunity for me. While we are encouraging and welcoming first time speakers, that answer simply wouldn't be enough to indicate the value to the e-symposium. So while we encourage and we want new speakers, what, what that answer is missing is what will the audience get from this presentation? Why do people want to listen? How does that tie into the theme? What will people gain from that presentation? What does it offer? Why are people going to want to come and listen to that? So while you can, of course, share that this is, a, this is a first and this is a great opportunity, you need to make sure that you are clearly communicating to the people reading your submission why. Why is this an important thing to add? So some more tips for your submission. Imagine yourself as an attendee of Perspectives 2024 e-symposium. What would you like to hear? Why would your speaker's session make attending the e-symposium worthwhile? What is your key message, the one most important thing you want people to walk away with? How will you engage attendees throughout your speech? Think about your topic and describe it. Provide the important information to help the committee understand what your speech is about. Again, value. What are people going to gain from it? What are they going to learn from it? And make sure you're communicating that very clearly. The potential topic ideas. So these are just ideas. This is a bit of a brainstorm. You don't have to follow these, but it gives you a sense of, of what we might be considering. So one example, you might share your lived experience story of hope, advocacy or leadership. Um, you might think about what are some of your lessons learned from sharing your lived experience story. You might explore the, explore the theme of connection, awareness and change and what it means to you. You can tell us how you found your place within the lived experience community, the ups and downs, the trials, the tribulations, the journey of what led you there. You might even answer the question, what is lived experience leadership? Because that can look really different for everybody. You might want to define that. That's just a few ideas. You're welcome to head to the guidelines page for more ideas. So I'm wishing you the best of luck with your submission. The speaker submissions close on the 24th of November, 2023. Don't forget to submit before then. If you have further questions or require any support, please contact info at findingnorthnetwork.com.au. Bye.